So let's jump straight into that now. Right. Let's start with you first. Explain your kind of uh, injury history throughout jujitsu, like the main ones, right? Okay. That were either acute or chronic problems. And then we'll talk about your LCL. Okay. Yeah. I've had just, honestly, I think my knee injury was the only really serious one. Mm -hmm. I've had a bunch of non-surgical injuries, ankle sprains, rib fractures, a, uh, labrum tear in my shoulder, my left shoulder, mm -hmm. a bunch of spine stuff, little mm -hmm. stingers. Um, All I'm, from jujitsu and martial arts? Yeah, mm -hmm. jujitsu. Uh, martial arts, yeah, I, mm. car accident, uh, yeah. <laughs> various yeah. things, yeah. 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 But um, I think the knee was the only serious one. And that was a, a isolated LCL uh, rupture. I think it was like seven years ago. Yeah, when I when it first yeah. happened. That's yeah, I, actually, that sounds about right. Seven years ago. Yeah, just a freak injury, um, which is it's kind of a unique injury. Like we were mm -hmm. talking about, um, isolated LCL ruptures. Uh, is a pretty rare injury in yeah. itself. And it's something that's actually seen pretty often in jujitsu. Mm -hmm. um, I was actually looking this up and I don't think there was any other sports it was known for. Like I saw some yeah. stuff for like maybe gymnastics or rock climbing, but really it's jujitsu that it's yeah. a super common injury, unfortunately. Yeah. yeah, so to explain this to some of the listeners, so like LCL is the lateral collateral ligament on the outside of your knee. So pretty much your knee has to, a force has to push your knee outwards. So like you're making like bow legged, right? With extreme mm. so that the ligament ruptures. And like you said, it's extremely rare. Before, I think, no, I know for a fact, you're the first LCL tear that I've ever saw. Oh, really? And I was like, oh, oh this Special. is extremely rare. <laughs> yeah, this is extremely rare, rare. But since then, I think I've only seen maybe like four or five LCLs. Sprains, maybe not surgical repair. Yeah all jujitsu yeah so like i haven't seen any other you know in other sports yeah. and stuff like that so it is rare explain a little bit about how you injured your lcl um i was just actually it was just a freak uh injury i was uh rolling with this guy russell doan i still remember it super nice guy mma fighter used to be in the ufc and he's like not a not a crazy aggro dude he was just rolling really chill i had him in mount and it was kind of like an we call it an s mount in jujitsu where my knee is kind of almost like in a cross-legged position mm -hmm. on top. And uh, he kind of rolled up on me and my knee got stuck under him. Mm -hmm. And I, I felt and heard like three like rips. It was like, three. it was like, it was like a cloth was ripping. Um, Not a pop, like a No, rip. it was like a ripping noise. And I was like, oh, that didn't feel or sound very good. Um, but I was able to get up and I kind of walked it off and I was like, oh, I think I'm okay. Um, but like not okay enough to keep training. Yeah. So <laughs> I like went home and um, I went to work the next day and I had one of the ortho surgeons I worked with take a look mm -hmm. and he's like, whoa, here, I was, I was pretty loose. And yeah. I was like, no, but I'm, you know, I think I'm walking okay. It feels all right. It's hard to do that exam on yourself to yeah, really yeah, feel, yeah. Um, which I, uh, Jay Marmoto actually later taught me a, 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 how to be able oh, to just, tell on yeah. yourself a little better. Um, but yeah, and then I, I really thought it was just a, a grade one or maybe even a grade two sprain. Mm -hmm. Ended up uh, getting an MRI uh, of my knee, which showed a complete rupture. Mm -hmm. I was like, oh, that's not good. Uh, or actually, no, I think, I think it, on the MRI, it was kind of equivocal. It looked like a possible rupture, but it, it wasn't definitive. Okay. Uh, so I ended up seeing uh, Dr. Jay Marmoto, mm -hmm. a great surgeon who, um, took one look at the MRI and then like, felt my knee for like five seconds and he, he was like, well, yeah. yeah, you're gonna need to do surgery on this uh, soon. Yeah. Um, Cause it's one of those injuries, I guess, uh, if the ligament is still somewhat intact or, or somewhat approximated, they can repair it, which is mm -hmm. a smaller surgery. Mm -hmm. um, if you leave it for a while, it tends to turn into a bigger surgery where you have to reconstruct the ligament. Mm -hmm then is much, much bigger surgery. So I was like, oh shoot, I guess I, guess I have to do it. So I, I, went in, I, I went in there thinking I was just gonna do a little bit of therapy and rehab and walked out getting like surgery, I think uh, like yeah, yeah. two or three days yeah. later, which was a pretty brutal surgery too. Yeah. <laughs> it is pretty rough. I mean, the incision right down the whole lateral side of your oh, yeah. knee and then yeah, it was it's like, a pretty big incision. It was yeah. like, I wanna say like a, almost like a 15 centimeter like incision yeah. on my leg, um, pretty painful. Yeah. And um, non-weight bearing, I want to say for like maybe a month, maybe six weeks, yeah. um, maybe maybe a month. Um, yeah. it's, it was pretty brutal. I thought I was pretty tough, uh, but after that surgery, I was in it's, pretty yeah. unbearable pain. So yeah. <laughs> it's pretty rough. And you know, to like kind of elaborate on some of the things we talked about. So in jujitsu, right? You have like 
in this guard position, basically you're it's like if you were to cross your legs in a figure four position, right? Yeah. You're like hip externally rotated. A lot of stress is on the LCL to begin with. Yeah, yeah. Now, if you don't have that hip mobility, more stress on the LCL. Yeah. If you don't have strength in that position, more stress on the LCL, yeah. right? Because you can't control. So, I And I think know. it was the guy's body weight coming up That's on my night too. too. Yeah. And me just and I, I didn't recognize it as a, a dangerous position. Mm -hmm. But yeah, I mean, I, I've seen uh, other people get injured one guy in my gym, he actually tore the same injury as me, but actually he also injured the posterior lateral corner. Mm. Um, he was just uh, standing up and I guess the guy was kind of coming under him, trying to almost do like a leg attack from the bottom. Mm. Like a, we call it a reap in yeah. jiu-jitsu and it, it tore his, his LCL. So yeah. um, we always, in jiu-jitsu, kind of make fun of like, oh, the reap is, is so dangerous, you know, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, in a joking way. But mm -hmm. uh, that's a guy I actually saw tear his L LCL, Got getting it. his knee reaped. Other guys, I think, like there's, there's a bunch of famous people. Gordon Ryan tore his LCL. Mm. Uh, Kira Gracie, I think she was playing like a rubber mm. guard, like, you know, yeah. kind of forcing the leg in almost yeah. like a triangle kind of-ish position. Yeah. yeah, so yeah, pretty and, funky. And, you know, like, well, a little bit orthopedics, right? Like with sprains and stretching of the ligament, right? Over time, it just gets more and more lax, right? Oh, yeah. So I wonder like just because of how often you're in that position, because how often do people, you know, other than jujitsu, go into this position, yeah. right? Stressing that area. I wonder if it's just like you're creating extra stress and laxity in that lateral side, posterior lateral corner. So then some of these like unseemingly not too intense or not too much force yeah. type of trauma it's just like the last straw and it just it's already kind it. of a yeah. stretch it's almost partially torn probably yeah yeah, yeah. i'd bet because it doesn't seem like that that should do it but yeah. yeah so i mean working on that guard position that extreme stress on that side right that's one thing knees it's not your typical knees it's not like well don't get me wrong there has been acls you know like hyperextension knee bars and you know even other things like if you get twisted in a certain yeah. way but lcl seem to be relatively like put it this way not as rare as it should be in jujitsu or in life right there's a lot of lcl trauma <laughs>